Apparently Mark Higgins wasn't terribly impressed with my driving performance yesterday, so we've uh, come out here to the coast of the Isle of Man, where he's going to show me how it's done in a properly prepared Subaru BRZ. The road here has got a bit of everything in it. There's bumps, there's um, big drops on the on both sides of the road. So we can, uh, I'll, I'll sort of talk you through what I'm doing. Okay. In terms of braking. I mean, we've got the racing tires on now, so it's a different approach. Uh, we're gonna be a bit smoother. Whereas before, we just had a bit of a flick around. Right. I just try and carry corner speed the best we can. But obviously with a standard car, you've got a lot more grip, a lot more force is going through the car. And the whole key is just to be getting the thing moving as much as we can. So a small brake in there, off the brake, through. Now, as a, as a driver, can you feel when the tires, like what, what are you feeling when the tires are getting hot? You know they have more grip. It's, it's, it's just a feeling there. I mean, I can feel it through the steering all the time. Yeah. You know, the car is so much more planted and you're able just to push and, and brake so much later, but it's putting a lot more stresses on the brakes as well, you know, because you've got so much more G-force. If you had a G-center on the car, It'd be quite interesting to see the actual difference. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's how you e-brake slide. Yeah. Turn, clutch, pull. TCP. So you can hear it. the big thing now is really exaggerating the problem of the gravel. So I was noticing when I was driving against you yesterday, there were certain portions where you just hauled ass and got away. So what I was sort of doing really was uh, when I got the chance accelerating hard into the corner. I mean, you can feel the grip the car has there with these tires. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing with these tires. And yesterday you were on streets, right? Yeah. I mean, there's no sliding at all, and the car's just getting through the corner. But what I feel when I brake and steer, you can really feel the, the difference in the steering of the car. I mean, the change of direction there is so much better with these tires on. So when we were running, um, the, the when I was driving the SDI yesterday, I noticed we got up to about a buck twenty speed. Yeah. When you did your record attempt yeah. um, the year before, uh, what speed were you doing? Uh, the most we did was 165 miles per hour. Wow. So um, you know we were pretty well maxed out at that, yeah. and uh, we were just trying to do it as long as we could for, uh, and that was a key. And again, you know we were on a street tire there, so that. Uh, oh, then that was on street that, tire. Yeah, that, the whole thing of the record, which, which made it really difficult for me. Yeah. was a fact we were on a standard tyre. You can even feel the difference in speed. We're changing gear quite a bit earlier than what we were before. Absolutely. So when you had your incident uh, last year, were you called to the shed on that one? Where I was. <laughs> I, the problem with that incident was, um, you know, it, it was... It was one of those very close ones. It was still controlled, but it, the problem is we had to do another, you know, 36 miles after that. And it's getting your head straight and then wondering why it happened. And, uh, you know, we put it down really to, we didn't get much testing time in the car. And straight away we put the extra weight of a journalist and, um, you know, the, another seat in the car, more cameras in the car. And that's where that sort of happened. So uh, just compressed, bump. I was a passenger, caught it back, and then crack on for the rest of the lap. Are you going to try to do another record attempt in time? I would love to if we're ever able to. I know Subaru would be keen to do something. Yeah, um, yeah it's the, the most exhilarating thing I've ever done in my life as a driver, was driving around that course when it was fully closed for me. To have, you know, 36 miles for you only yeah, is, yeah. is quite a feeling. I think because of my, you know, where I was born, I'm very, I'm very Manx. Um, it's a very proud moment for me, really. Which, for those uh, who don't know, Manx means is somebody who is from the Isle of Man. Somebody's born in the Isle of Man, yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah.